So hi again everybody. Today we will take a look at some cheap LED decoration boards. These are made by TTI, Diatone Innovations. And those come in a pack of four. So these are simply break away. And well, they cost around $1.50 for all four of them. So that's a really cheap price. So let's see how they work. As you can see already, there's a plus and a minus board, so that's nice. So you would uh, solder them here at the ends of each board. Uh, let's take a look at the weight first. So let's see. As you can see, those weight almost nothing. My scale says 2 grams for all 4 of them, so that's really no weight at all. Let's see how they work. For that purpose I have a fully charged 3S LiPo here. They work for with 3S and 4S. I will only try them with the 3S LiPo. Let's take a look. So let's see. What? Yeah, that's nice. Okay. Okay, here we have a green one, a blue one, a red one, and a white one. So I will turn off the light so that you can see it better. They are pretty bright, so that's nice. So, let's take another look at those. So, again, oh, come on. the green one, so it's really bright. So, you will also see it at daylight. The blue one, oh, that's really intense. The red one. And the white one. Oh, that's, that's kind of nice. So I will uh, turn on the light again. And there is another thing which I would like to measure with them. And that is the power consumption. So that's often something which you might be interested in. So I will take my multimeter here and put it to power consumption. That will be in milliamperes. So let's take a look how we can do that. Okay, I'll put it here so that you can really see it nicely. So here we have the plus side. So that goes here. Put this on that side so that you can read the display. So that will be the plus side, that will be the negative one. Let's take another look. Okay, so as you can see with a fully charged 3S LiPo, the green LED uh, needs about 9.3 milliamperes. The blue LED is almost the same, that's about 9.1, yeah, about 9.1 milliamperes. Then comes the red LED, and that's actually a surprise here. The red LED takes almost double the power in milliamperes, here we can see 17.7 compared to the other, other LEDs. So that's a surprise. And the white one is again the same as usual at 9.2 milliamperes. 
So what's going on with that red LED? I don't know. Maybe red LEDs simply take more, need more milliampere. Yeah? But let's let's check it because I have some more of these uh, LED decoration boards. So I will simply open another one for you so that we can double check that the red LED really needs more power than the other LEDs. Okay. So that's a fresh one. And we will just repeat our measurements with that one just to be sure that everything is alright. So that's how we add it. So let's take another look at that. Okay, so the green one, yeah, that's similar than before, about 9 milliamperes. Then we have the blue one, again similar as before, again about 9 milliamperes. The red one, and yeah, it's the same. So the red one, the red LED definitely takes a lot more power in milliamperes compared to the other LEDs. That's interesting. If you know why, if you're an expert, please write it in the comments. I would be, I would really appreciate it. And again, just to be sure, the white one, yeah, we are again at about 9 milliamperes. So that con concludes the test of these. They are really nice. As you can see, you can simply break them away and then mount them to your quadcopter or anything. I really like them. If you liked this video, please leave a thumbs up. And if you like my other videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much and see you next time.